Well, my name is Derek Johnson. I'm a solution manager for SAP's Business Planning Consolidation Solution. So we've produced a 12-part uh, series looking at our new unified model that we're releasing as part of our 10.1 release for NetWeaver. So in this session, we're going to be covering three things. First thing we're going to do is we're going to be creating teams, then we're going to be setting up work status, and lastly, we'll be enabling our model for auditing. So to set up our teams, we're going to go into Security and select Teams and then we're going to create a team name. The next activity that we're going to be doing is we're going to be assigning individual users to this team so we know who the team members are. So creating teams is uh, very uh, important in terms of our overall planning process and this is consistent with uh, the way that our 10.0 release work for BPC in terms that we can create teams and assign different content that we've created to those teams so that other team members can leverage that content in a very easy and intuitive way. So the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up uh, work status for our model and work status is going to be used to really give an indication to our planning user the status of a particular region of data as this being uh, as we're progressing through our planning process. So we can assign different statuses. In this case we're going to be looking at sales revenue planning by uh, region. And eventually we're going to be assigning a time period to that as well as well as um, uh, different versions. So we can assign different different statuses and you can see that we've created in this case a status to uh, related to approvals. So in addition to that, uh, our previous statuses were a um, unlocking uh, the the data as a as a first step, as well as as setting the overall planning status of the data to be in in an unlocked status. So now we can send it to approval, and the last work status that we're going to be creating will be the final approval. So here you can see uh, who whose activity it is. Uh, to control this work status and what kind of actions they can take as well. So work status is a new concept. If you've used our uh, integrated planning or our planning application kit uh, planning paradigms in BW in the past, uh, this should be a welcome uh, change and to really kind of tie in kind of the overall planning paradigms for our business planning consolidations, our, our traditional or classic models, as well as this new unified model type going forward. So as part of this process, we can specify some uh, key dimensions as well. In this case, we have a country dimension as well as a, as a hierarchy to control that. And then we can set up owner and team uh, properties as well. So the last thing that we're going to be doing as part of this overall status is we're also going to be looking to add additional dimensions to kind of drive the status as well. So as part of our revenue planning, we may want to have different statuses based on the year so that we indicate that we're planning the current year in this case. And we may want to specify it for particular versions as well so that we can have you know either uh, kind of ad hoc planning scenarios in certain versions and then we can have a very official version that we're controlling as part of a business process. And the last thing we're going to be doing is, is we're going to be enabling our work process to say that we'd like to um, set this up and have it be valid for this particular planning model. We can send out email notifications. In this case we disable that feature as part of this scenario. So in a typical planning scenario you may want to perform some email notification as, as the status for a particular data region changes. The next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be setting up and enabling audit. So you can see that we've selected the audit menu item and here we're going to be enabling it.